Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back fishing planet, and guys, we have been off screen quite a bit, catching quite a few fish. As you can see, I'm already well over a million in-game cash, and it is going up very fast. I've bought stuff, too, quite a bit, <laughs> and I am really making some serious cash, so this has been definitely worth my while. Uh, one of the things, though, that I wanted to focus on here, if I can, because I've been struggling with getting these fish until I got a little bit more research and information about them, and that is because that's called the mahi mahi. They also call them the dolphin fish. It's the most colorful fish here, just about. Not the most colorful, but one of the most. Bright green, kind of yellowish blue green. The other one that's really pretty too is the ruby snapper that's a bright red we'll be probably focusing on them a little bit more later we have caught them both but we were doing it as part of the uh, maintenance adventure missions and they told us where to catch them so the trick with the mahi mahi though is that they have a tendency to be moving fish they don't have spots per se what I understand the way I understand it is they kind of move around with the wind, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Apparently there's something called a leeward side of, a, of an island. And let's go ahead and jump in here and I'll show you what I mean. I believe the weather right now is... Well, let's go ahead and advance time a little bit because I, I do want to go in here and fast forward it to a little bit more of a peak might also fast forward it to the night time because that's when I caught them last peak is much better at night this particular day I'm kind of paying attention to the weather here it looks like the wind is coming from the north now the leeward side would be to the south of the island so it's the opposite side which is where I'm not pretty much located right now and one of the things I noticed last time is I saw a lot of surface fish. So we might actually get lucky here. Let me go ahead and jump down here. Maybe the with the wind, because it last time I was in here, which was yesterday, the wind was not coming from the north. And I was not catching a, anything but narrow barred mackerel, Japanese, amberjack, which is fine. It's not what I was after, though. Let's go ahead and let me tell you that they will go after these trolling octopus. The problem with the trolling octopus is so does a lot of other things, especially big species. And with the gear I have here, it's not going to hold up for very long with something with that kind of power. But these bucktails are what really bring them in. The only thing is the bucktails are going to cost you a pretty penny if you don't have... Uh, better than 83 levels so I went ahead and bought one just to see and it may has made all the difference now it's a little bit light for this rod doesn't matter when you're trolling then doesn't, doesn't matter at all you can you can finagle around that well let's go ahead and jump in here I'm going to go ahead and throw this bucktail out. And I think the most I can throw it out because it's so light, it's only like a half an ounce. It's maybe 37 feet, 36 feet, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it out. And it doesn't have to be let out a ton. And I don't know about 
testing this other one. I'm a little leery about it. Because I've already done quite a bit of damage to that reel just from catching some big fish. Yeah, this gear is not made for the sea. For the sea at all. But it's what I've got. I figure I can go back and at least do some repair work. But we do have a lot of birds here. That's a good sign too. It's also a good sign for tuna. But we just got the one rod here. Let's just see what happens. This is where they should be. I'm going to take it up to about 3%. And we're going to just give it a little try here. And if nothing happens, I might fast forward it to the peak check the wind then but yeah right now it's north 10 miles per hour and we are in the south so we should be doing all right here we might want to get closer to the island I don't know but we'll see I think I might turn around I mean I know I'm seeing fish there but I want to head towards those birds I just feel like if I go towards the birds might have a little more luck you never know we'll see oh wait a minute nope false alarm I think we might have gotten a bite but it didn't connect it's probably just from the boat pulling it Okay, now that's not. All right, we do have something here. Didn't have to wait too long. And I'm hoping, and I think we got one, guys. It works. Paying attention to the wind and looking at the radar or sonar works. There it is. Yeah, they are a tricky little buggers, and it's the biggest one I've caught so far, guys. Check him out. And I did it while the boat was moving. <laughs> yeah, they don't come that huge. So actually, I could do very well with the other one if I'm if I don't tag into something else. Let me sh go ahead and get a picture of this guy. That way, you can see what they look like. Yeah, let me... Is there better lighting than that? Yeah, there we go. There he is. Isn't that an interesting looking fish? Yeah, apparently they're really, really good eating. Alright. It worked. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good when things work. Sometimes... Yeah, the last time I tried to do this, I was doing some recording and nothing was working. I swear to God, it was just like I couldn't catch anything I was after. Let's put let's put this other one out. We'll just give it a try. Um, did we get another bite? Well, it didn't connect, whatever it was. Yeah, we're going to have to turn this crate around here. Yeah, we're getting out of the fish territory here. Yeah, it's heading def definitely heading into the birds seem to make the difference too. Okay, they're right over there. Let's get ourselves lined up. It just so happened, let me take my speed down just a touch. Going a little bit fast, but let me take a look at the map here. We are kind of out of ways, but there's a 
I have a nautical boy fairly close. I think if I get another one, I might go ahead and mark it. But like I said, since they move, I'm not so sure that's going to be all that effective. Yeah, and this isn't even peak time. But it's pretty easy to tell when you've got one because they aren't that hard to pull in. Now it looks like we got some skipjacks jumping around through here. So we could run into some of those guys. Hey, we got a big fish right there. Check it out. I don't know if it's one of our little fellas, but... I'm going to keep on trying. There's an island out there. I don't see it on the map. There's definitely an island. It must be just like right out of the reach or something. Oh, oh we got us a bite. Let me go ahead. It's on the second rod. Now... If it's too big, we're going to have to probably let him go. I don't know. He, yeah, he's kind of big. It's probably a tuna. Yeah, that's the trouble, like I said, with these trolling ones. If it looks like it's too big and you've got less gear, you know, lower gear like this, and you're not sure you're going to just end up doing nothing but damage it, what you can do is just set it down, let the fish come off. I mean, they will, if it's tuna especially. But he's actually swimming towards me right now. This is probably not a mahi-mahi. I'm going to go ahead and do just that. And I do think I'm going to go ahead and mark where I caught the last one. Try going through there again. Yep, we got him off. I think we just got too many big fish out there to really risk that. I don't want to damage this thing any more than I already have. Good to use when the fish stay moderate in size, but when you get the big fellas, not good to try. But I am going to advance time just a little bit. I'm going to take it to about here because we're at a low point here. Okay, where's the wind coming from? Northeast. Now, let's see. We are, we are northeast. Oh, shoot. That could be problematic. See, northeast, we need to be southwest. We need to be over here more. Well, we'll try a pass up there. That's the thing with the wind. And you can tell the fish have moved. They're not in the radar anymore. So I keep wanting to call it radar. They're not in the ra sonar anymore. Let's turn us around. We'll go one more pass through there. But I'm thinking we're going to need to move across the map a little bit. I think these guys have moved. Yeah, look. There are no fish here anymore. They're gone. 
they all went bye bye. Hmm. All right. Well, that's what happens. The mahi mahi are, like I said, very tricky, tricky fish, tricky little guys. All right. Let's put that away. And let me see. Can I get any closer? Like I said, it's northeast. So we're southeast. We need to get probably right over here would be really good. This area where the drop-offs are, I bet you anything right about there. That's some serious traveling. This might get us a little bit closer. Let's try going here. It might... Get us a little bit closer. So we got an array sonar. We have some surface fish. Not as much as I'd like to see. So we are going to open her up. head right straight back towards the main island. Alright guys, I am back and I think I found them. I think I found them. We've got surface fish galore. Go ahead and stop this, but let me show you where we are on the map. Probably better to do it this way. If you look at the map, we went all the way over here. Like I said, they went northeast. We are now southeast. It's a little group of islands here. There was nothing between here and there at all until I got right here and then all of a sudden up on the sonar you could see all kinds of fish and they're surface fish. This might be where they are guys. Let's give it a try. Yeah, you have to be willing to move with these guys. I tell you, they are very, very tricky. There we go. Easy to catch, difficult to find. That's kind of the way the way the thing rolls here. Let's see. Put it out about 80 feet. Kind of a nice round number there. And we'll just head right through the midst of them, I, I suppose. Let's see here. About trying to see it doesn't look like they extend beyond this little border here so we're gonna have to turn the boat a little bit there we go now we're, we're talking And I think we got us another one, guys. Yep, we sure do. I found him and I followed him. That's pretty daggone cool. All right, there you go. He's not as big as the last one, but we will definitely keep him. Let's 
throw this thing right back out there. I like the fact that you don't have to stop the boat. Yeah, and it's going out a little bit better too. All right, wait a minute. Let's go right back up here, see where we are. Yeah, we're still in a big grouping. Big old grouping. I'd like to get me a trophy or unique. That's what I really want to get. The only thing is, I might... Yeah, let me go ahead and... hard to bring up the map sometimes. I am going to go ahead and mark this. How far did I have to come? Not too bad. And see, there's all this stuff we need to check out. There's so much stuff to explore. Oh shoot, here we go. Ah, oh, he got off. A little turd? Sure as heck did. He got right off of there. Okay, we're getting out of... Never mind. Yeah, we got him. We got him. We were getting out of the, the field, but... I caught him at the last minute. There we go. Very easy to tell you got one. I mean, you can see the green. Beautiful fish. And apparently, pound for pound, they're way up there on XP. So, not only are they worth catching for fun and challenge, obviously, they're worth it for XP. And I assume that's why, because they are a little bit harder to find. Yeah, we are right on the outskirts of this field, so let's go ahead and head back this way. What are we at? 3% still. We're still good. And we got to get back down there to throw our rod out. Yeah, our line gets carried out a little faster, too. That's good. on that. Looks like we're going right through the middle of them again. I might adjust it a little bit more, but I think we're alright. I think we got us a nibble there. Now I bet you it's going to be really, really hard to get a unique one. That might be something you have to actually catch at night. I have a feeling that's when they're going to be present. At this point, I'm just glad to be catching them. <laughs> yeah, because I was trying to find them forever. I didn't realize that leeward side of the island thing, and I didn't even know if it would work. Okay, we're starting to get into some other species here. May mean they're starting to get on the move again. Yeah, look at there. Those are not mahi mahi. I bet you. I bet those are tuna. I think okay, we need to get back down here. Let's hope this works. Yep, it worked that time. Oh boy. This may... Okay, it might still be a Mahi Mahi. He's putting on a big, bit more fight than the other ones did. Be nice to get a trophy. Yeah, it is a Mahi Mahi. But yeah, he's giving me a much bigger fight. Let's see what he is. 
Yes! <laughs> New personal record, trophy Mahi Mahi. Yes, 36 pounder. 68.94 cash, 21.47 XP. Let's get a picture of this fella. Yes. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Get us a picture for posterior. <laughs> and we'll keep him. Let's throw this out one more time, guys. See, did I already mark this area? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that. Well, actually, I might park that last fish as well. I can always take the other one off. Am I getting another bite? I thought for a minute that I was. Let's see. Okay, we are still in the midst of these guys, but we're starting to get to the border of them. It might be a good idea to turn because you can see all kinds of them over on this side. Yeah, let's just head right there on the fringes. And we do have something on here, I think. Okay, this is not as big. This might be a striped bonita. I've picked up quite a few of those guys. Yep, striped bonito. You may get those. They love the bucktails too. Put it out about a hundred feet this time. Yeah, we're still good. We're still right in the midst of the field. Looky there. I wonder if that's what we're after or if that's something smaller. What's my speed? Three percent. Let's go, let's go down to two. Let's take it a little bit slower. There we go. See how easy it is once you find them? Okay, this is something else. This is something else. Another striped bonito. So we might be in striped bonito territory now. Let's throw this back out. <clears throat> All right. Let's yeah. Let's head back to where we caught the other ones. I'm not sure. We might be getting a bite again. Yeah, we are. Thank God. <laughs> These guys are persistent. Okay, this may not be as... Well, it might be. No, it's a Mai. There we go. There's another fella. See, I'm pulling them out left and right. Okay, I'm going to keep turning. There's a lot of birds over there. Wow, look at them all. That's a lot of fish. I think I have hit the mother load. Yeah, we're going to go right through the middle of this right where all those markers are god I'd love to get a unique one that would be awesome yep, I think we got us another one no let's let it out a little bit 
seems like we were getting a little bit luckier when it's out farther. Also probably a good idea to watch the rocks. Alright, there we go. I think we got a stripe of needle here. Yeah, those little buggers. I still need to get a unique one. I've gotten trophy, but I do not have unique yet. Wait a minute. How far did that go out? That's good. On a path right straight for the rocks there. See, they don't go past that little boundary right there. They're right there on the edge. Oh, really? That sucks. I lost the fish. But we're heading right in the thick of them again. And it looks like they are moving because they're the markers I have they're starting to move away from it a little bit yeah we've got fish now that are in different portions of the water table there we go not nope, stripe a needle Yeah, I just wanted to give one more mahi mahi, close this out if we could, and we might not, but we have accomplished what we set out to do, that's for darn sure. Yeah, we're going right through the thick of them again. Oh yeah. Lots of, lots of surface, surface fish here. I know there's a unique out there, guys. I know there is. I should be just as ecstatic for getting the trophy, but I want a unique too, man. Oh, look, a trawler. There we go. I think we got us one now here. Let's see what we got. Okay, this got a little more oomph to him. Might be up an upper scale, or he might be another trophy. Let's see what he is. He is a Mahi Mahi. Nope. But on the upper end of the scale. Alright guys. Yeah, I think we've caught quite a few of them here. This went really well. Love these fish. Beautiful, beautiful animals. Beautiful creatures. Well anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. I think in the next one we're going to go after the Ruby Snapper. I have caught one of them, but they're a deep, deep fish. 
They start off at about 300 feet deep. Bright red, pretty fish. We're going to see if we can't get some for you. Love to get a unique one. Not sure where to find one. Just know where they are. That's about it so far. But anyway, guys, that was a trophy I pulled out of there, so that's not too bad. Let's take a look at this guy. Hold on, let's go ahead and stop this. We got something down there at the bottom there. Kind of wonder what it is. All right, we have I got us. Well, we got the striped bonitos as you saw. But we've got plenty of mahi mahis. Caught six of them, it looks like, and one trophy. So not a bad day's work. Not a bad day's work. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. Till then guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.